Hey, what's up everyone? It's Marcus Brownlee from MKBHD, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to get the iTunes Visualizer. So uh, this is obviously a tutorial that applies, or that applies to both Mac and PC users. Uh, what we're going to do, if you, if you haven't heard of this already, I did do this video earlier, and I'll try to post this as a video response, because when I did this the first time, I was using Chem Studio. So now that I have Camtasia Studio 6, hopefully this won't be as framey, it'll be good quality, and you can see everything. So actually, I'm going to maximize this, because the visualizer does look better maximized. So what you're going to do is obviously pick a song. I'm just going to play this uh, soft blues song in the background. And now that the song is actually playing, I don't know if you can hear it or not, we'll see at the end of the recording. Um, I'm actually, in order to choose, first of all, the type of visualizer, go up here to the iTunes toolbar and go to View and go to uh, choose the visualizer. You can either choose the iTunes visualizer or the iTunes classic visualizer. So first of all, we'll see what it looks like when we use the iTunes visualizer. Just hit Show Visualizer and there you go. Now I apologize if it is a little bit framey because the, uh, the screen recording won't pick up every frame, but that is what the visualizer looks like. So now, if we go and... Uh, hide the visualizer again and what I'm going to do actually now is go to video uh, visualizer and go to classic visualizer so now when we go back up to view and visualizer you see the options menu which was grayed out before is actually open for us to click if I click it we can say cap first of all display frame rate and I may or may not um, we can cap the frame rate at 30 frames per second I'm going to uncheck that always display song info use DirectX, and faster but rougher display. Those are the options we can choose in the Classic Visualizer. So now that I hit OK, I'm going to view the Classic Visualizer. Again, go to View and Show Visualizer. And this shortcut is available using Control t So uh, here is the iTunes Classic Visualizer, obviously the sounds coming out of the Apple logo. And um, it might be a little framey again, but um, I hope you do get the idea that that is how you show the Visualizer in iTunes. So if I pause it, you can see the rings stop really moving all that much because the sound has stopped. If I hit the play button again, we'll get uh, those rings uh, emulating or coming out of the Apple once again. So uh, there we go. That's how you show the visualizer. I'm going to go control T here to hide the visualizer. And that is basically it. So I hope you like this HD tutorial. I hope it helped you guys if you were trying to uh, get that iTunes visualizer working. If you just want to full screen it at a party or a disco jam, whatever you're doing. That's how you get the iTunes visualizer. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you do have any requests, feel free to subscribe and message me, and I'll try to do a request video for you. So again, this has been an HD tutorial from MKBHD. Thanks for watching. Peace.